a journey through arguably the most naturally beautiful area of land on our planet, Patagonia. We showed you the animal haven of Puerto Madryn and Pyramides, and now we are going to take you into the beautiful mountainous region of Bariloche before traversing south to the hiking capital of all of South America, El Chaltén. We have made it to Barraloche. Yesterday we took a, well yesterday and the day before, we took a 15 hour overnight bus from Puerto Madryn to Barraloche. And we have just arrived at the Black Glacier. We're gonna hopefully do a short loop hike to see some epic views and you're gonna come with us. The drive here was quite a challenge with three hours of windy gravel roads, but wow, it was worth it. We had the entire place to ourselves and the lagoon and surrounding mountains were absolutely breathtaking. It was definitely one not to miss in Bariloche. <laughs> from the Black Glacier. Bit of info, so it costs 3,500 pesos each to enter the national park. And then if you put it on Google Maps to drive, it will tell you that basically from the center of Bariloche, it's like an hour and a half drive. It is not, it takes like two and a half to three hours because the roads are just like, terrible gravel and weirdly on the way there you have to enter the road to get there before two o'clock and then it closes going in that direction and then you won't be able to return in the opposite direction after you've seen the glacier until four and basically so all the traffic is single file so a bit of info if you're going to drive there we've now driven about an hour and a half further from the glacier to come to the swiss colony it looks like everything is semi-open so we're going to try and find something to eat and drink Alright, so this is a um, this is Ajva, my best version of an Ajva, which is uh, roasted capsicums, eggplant, garlic, tomato, and onion. Did I say that? No. And it's supposed to have parsley, but I didn't get any. Then we've got chorizos. We've got some bread with some cheese. We're gonna make some chori pans, Balkan style. No chimichurri because didn't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen's quite small. Come have a look at the kitchen. Come on, come on. <laughs> This is what we're working with. We haven't got a lot, okay? Oh, it's hot in here. It is warm in here, it is warm in here. So then we've got some chippies and we've got our bread toasting. I'm real. It's all half pudding, so bon appetito, <laughs> bon provecho. <laughs> Hi guys, so day, I'm not sure, day two in Baraloche, kind of day three actually. And we have just come to a tiny little town called Villa La Angostura. It is so cute, it really reminds us of like a little skiing town. It's really, really cute, we recommend coming here for anyone who is coming to Baraloche, come check it out. We just got some coffee and cakes and stuff at a tiny cafe called, I'm just gonna show you because I can't pronounce it. So we're in this little place, which is really, really cute. And the coffee is called Antibes. doing the Villa Campagnaro hike. Here's the gang. Battery's hanging on for dear life. We just tried to do the Chera Lopez hike and ended up in the middle of nowhere. So we'll try to do that tomorrow and let you know how to do that. But this one is a supposedly a two hour hike. You can get a chairlift, um, but we're gonna do the hike and maybe we'll get a chairlift down. So yeah, we'll let you know how it is from the top. Made it up to the top of the hike. Uh, what do you reckon, half an hour long? And it is amazing views, but so windy. Crazy cold. 
It's super worth it though. So if you're gonna do one hike in Bariloche, do this one, because you get literally a full 360 view of absolutely everything. And yeah, it's just beautiful, amazing. gang ready to do Chero Lopez so you have to meet here at Arroyo Lopez and then we're gonna hike to the top there's a cute little red hut at the top of this mountain we were told quick and easy hike with a beautiful view and the sign says four hours to the top so unsure what we're about to do but see how it goes anything to say I hope we survive <laughs> Hello. are you speaking or what? you're speaking all right so we've made it to Refugio Lopez Uno yeah 1200 meters up Views are great. Red Hut looks like it's absolutely miles away, so God knows how we're gonna get to that. Um, yeah, that's about it. We've been Picture hiking. perfect. We've been hiking about an hour. Oh yeah, an hour. Pretty steep. All uphill, happy hour mark two. We've made it to the snow. Woo. Yeah, we have. How are we feeling? Yeah, all right now. We'll post a link for my YouTube and I can tell you all about snow. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Blanky's first time seeing snow. First time seeing snow. I'm first 30 year old I've met that's <laughs> never seen snow before. In Australia we're not blessed with snow. <laughs> yes we are. Oh well where I live we don't. But yeah I can show you how to make the perfect meatball shaped snowball. Yeah follow the link below. <laughs> it to the red hut right behind me it felt so far away for so long and now it's here it took around two hours to get up yeah, here under two hours yeah Smashed it. one hour 50 minutes i'm definitely not that fit so if i can do it so can you and yeah it said three to four hours down there but that might be round trip so happy that it's only two hours up jobby and we're gonna spend a bit of time up here take some drone shots maybe and yeah we'll show you We are back, four and a half hours in total, unreal. Seven out of 10 difficulty, I reckon. First hour and a half, maybe a 10. Yeah, first hour and a half were hard. The views were just insane. Best hike I've ever done. A classic. Best day hike. A classic I mean, I done Lewis many. Sullivan. <laughs> I mean, this actually common. might be my only ever day hike, like a proper one. No, it was really, really good. Views at the top are definitely worth it. The first, yeah, hour and a half is difficult, but keep persevering, because then it gets better. Just heading out for a little drink after our mammoth hike earlier. We just headed back to our Airbnb, played a few card games, etc. Had a little bit of wine, and now we're out for a drink and then some dinner. We've actually not really eaten out since we've been in Bariloche because we've just been enjoying having an Airbnb and cooking for ourselves and stuff. So tonight we are out for the first time, and we promised to show you where we go. We're at Maleza, which has got a great view um, of the lake. So we're going to head here for a drink first, and then go for some dinner. Hey, guys, it's me, Daniel. You might remember me from previous episodes like the Lost City Trek in Colombia and Sierra Lopez from earlier today. And we're currently at La Fonda de Tia. It's a restaurant in Bariloche. We waited in line for about 20 minutes, but worth the wait. Very, very highly rated restaurant. Um, very well priced. We will give you another evaluation after the food, but there's a really fantastic vibe in here. There's Marilyn Monroe and Charlie Chaplin up on the wall there. Uh, don't know what that what that's for, but <laughs> don't know why they're there. It's so random. Um, but everyone seems to be enjoying their meals. Servings look big, and I'm starving, and everyone else is also. We're gonna get some soup, we're gonna get some mashed potatoes, it's gonna be gravy, baby. We love you, we love you so much. Thanks for listening, I love you so much. This morning is our final morning in Bariloche. We've had a really, really good time here, even though we didn't necessarily get to do all the things we wanted to do, which means one day we won't just have to come back. Update on dinner. Dinner was delicious last night, so definitely worth the wait and definitely would re recommend going there, as well as where we went for our wine beforehand with great views. Now we're just packing up 
our Airbnb and we are going to get on a 24 hour bus to El Chalten. So we'll see you there. So final morning in Bariloche. We are just coming down to get breakfast where we got it the first day and yesterday. And then we've got to return our car. So we hired our car from Fit Car Rental. Super, super cheap. Like with full insurance worked out like 35 pounds a day for a smallish car. Everywhere else was quoting 80 to 100 pounds. So definitely hit them up if you need a car when you're here, which we highly recommend. Bags. It's looking very pleased to be on camera. Hello, to everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> you tired? No, I'm all right, actually. Now, we stepped actually there. I woke up at like midday. Look at this. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just because you didn't want it. Here we are. Can you see that? Now you can see it. There we go. El Shalter. It's the Fitzroy Mountain in the background, which we're going to be hiking a couple of hikes along. <laughs> coming at you from El Chalten, the hiking capital of Argentina. We are up not super early, as you can tell, it's already light outside, but we are doing, what trek are we doing today? Laguna Torre trek, about five hours round trip. Let's see how we go, it's a little bit rainy, a little bit foggy, yeah. fog right behind me there. So yeah, let's see how we go. So first hike in El Chalten. We are a man down. Daniel is feeling under the weather. So it's just the three of us. Give us a wave. <laughs> and we are doing the Laguna Torre trek today. So it should take around about four and a half hours, hopefully. Don't really know what else to say. 17 kilometers, pretty flat so far. Yeah, and we've just passed like the two and a half K viewpoint over the Torre mountain. It's absolutely stunning. Like everything, it's like autumn here, so everything's turning red and orange. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. So we'll check in at the next viewpoint. have been walking for about two and a half hours we've hit the 7k mark so we should be nearly at the 8k the whole thing is 9k and then hopefully we'll be at Laguna Torre and we can have some lunch and take in the views Yeah. 
So we've got about 1.5k left at the end of the trail. We just realised we didn't actually talk to the camera whilst we were up by the glacier, but I'm sure you'll still appreciate all of the clips. It's absolutely stunning. Even though that the mountain was covered in fog, it really did make it kind of moody. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty flat trail like the whole way. So going back, it's taking just as long as getting there, but so, so worth it. We've taken like nearly six and a half hours, but we've stopped a lot for photos and we had a, a lunch break up the top. If you just did it flat out, four and a half to five, I reckon. Um, but yeah, if you're planning to take photos and have a bit of a chill, taking the views, and I think you should, then yeah, seven hours, I reckon. Six to seven hours will be perfect. All right, time for us to go get some soup, have a beer and chill out. See you later. <laughs> we made it. We made it. done from our hiking extravaganza. We clocked about 34,000 steps and it was about 23k uh, all in all. That was actually like the whole day. And now we're back at the same place we had lunch yesterday because it was so good. And we'll probably come back here for dinner again tonight because it's so good. But yeah, we're going to get some soup again, some few empanadas and most definitely the apple crumble again. family another day another hike today we are hiking to laguna los tres laguna los tres it's going to take a really long time so we'll nine keep you hours. updated nine hours so we'll um we'll keep you updated along the way hello guys not sure how many k's in we are at the moment i think about four i say we literally i'm on my own <laughs> And there was two, play two ways you could have gone. I went the way with the Laguna Capri, which was lovely to see. I have no idea where the others went, which way they went. So hopefully I'll see them at the other end. I'll let you know. The views are stunning as usual. it to the final stop before the final 400 meters to get to Laguna Las Tres. It's meant to take one hour, one kilometer, an altitude of an additional 400 meters. Let's see how we go. We made it! Look at all the snow. Just fell down this hole here. We made it. We've made it. Just, that was so hard. <laughs> you do like 8k and you think, oh, it's all going pretty swimmingly. And then the final k is just like insanely steep, uh, but worth it. Now we're going over there to see the viewpoint of multiple lakes. We just love hiking so much, we just can't get enough. Huh? But give me your best strongman. Strongman? Yeah. Like, arr. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Made it up to the viewpoint. You can see two lagoons, lagunas behind us. Hello, you're in this shot. Hello. 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 Uh, definitely do the viewpoint. It's not that hard in comparison to what you've just done. So definitely do it. Epic views from up here. We're just waiting for the, uh, this guy's to get some good shots. behind me finally decided to come out and play which is great adds to the views even more so we've just done that really horrible bit back down again not too bad on the way down awful on the way up but 
there you go but so worth it at the top we've been going five hours 50 minutes but we did spend about an hour and a half at the top going to both viewpoints don't do it it's a nightmare going to both viewpoints and now from this point it's pretty pretty all flattish and then downhill at the very very end so all good from here one thing that i did want to say was i always thought that it was going to be pretty cruisy till the bottom of the lake and then i've been told that there was like an awful hour climb to the viewpoint which actually is a bit of a lie it's cruisy up until the end of the cruisy bit and the last hour is all very uphill but that's that's just to the normal viewpoint and then the other viewpoint that you get to after that is is fine so you haven't got like two hellish bits it's just one hellish bit the other viewpoint walk isn't too bad back at Hellshell 10 like 10 minutes left taken eight hours and 10 minutes 24 k's elevation 1k absolute so difficult 40,000 steps so how many we've done now 40,000 yeah. steps legs are absolutely dead time mm. for food drink reliably informed that the Bailey's hot chocolate at the restaurant is it's banging really so good. we're gonna get that yeah and yeah time for some sleep and a chill day I think see you later ciao ciao made it to the cafe and we've got a Bailey's hot chocolate. I can confirm it is the best ever. So come here and get it. No, I haven't even had some yet. Today we've gone for the stew and the leek and mushroom empanada. So it's time to leave El Shell 10. Two big days of hiking, two days of recovering and chilling. And we are now heading to Calafate for two nights to see the Perita Morena Glacier. And then we'll be heading over to Chile for the W Trek. So we'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching this episode on hiking in Patagonia. We are now on our way to El Calafate and this is what you can expect to see in the next episode of our time in Patagonia. Just heading out for a- Windy, mate. Uh, excuse me, I'm vlogging. No, you can't see it. All right, bye. Nice. Can someone walk past? Can you walk past? It's meant to take one hour, 400 meters, no, one kilometer.